this is Joanna Penn from The Creative Pen and I'm at the Brisbane Writers Festival and I'm having a brilliant time I'm meeting up with a whole load of authors and uh, I've got this book here, Dream Raider, it looks you know, pretty exciting and I've got uh, Ant and Kev here and I'm just going to interview them a bit about the book, what they've been doing for their marketing, so uh, here's the interview. <laughs> Alright, so, um, so tell us a bit about the book. Well, um, the book is about a uh, four and a half thousand year old soul stealer who feeds off and eats live souls, basically. And it's the, the adventure of two young fellows who come up against him, and it's their, their epic battle that they have with him. And of course, Max the dog is involved as well. And so who, who's it aimed at? Uh, it's primarily aimed at young adults, um, around, well, from I would say from about 13 up. Yeah. Uh, and, but uh, lots of adults have read it and, and, and enjoyed oh, it yeah. immensely as well. Yeah, yeah. and so. is it, so it's sci-fi, horror? Yes, both. Look at the birds. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Along the way. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like what they used to write boys' own adventures sort of thing. Mm. You know, like Sh show us the cover a bit more. And. Ooh, nice. That's the cover Scary there. monster. Yeah. yeah. And All right, so, and you designed the cover yourself? I did, yeah. So this has been a, it's been a bit of an evolution actually. Um, so it's gone through a few iterations, starting off with you know, the first cover that we had, with yeah. few different characters and things. Yeah. Um, but actually bring in a lot of the colour, help with a lot of the branding, and really give it uh, its real own unique identity, if you like. Um, especially with a series and a volume of books, because we actually plan to have you know, four books in, yeah, stage, in the series. Yeah. Fantastic. And so each uh, each book will have uh, a different colour that will uh, represent the story in that particular. But as soon as you see it, you'll know that's a Johnny Marsh yeah. adventure. Fantastic. And who is Johnny Marsh? Johnny Marsh is the main character. He's actually got many, many facets, and he's actually, uh, through various incarnations, he's been around for uh, probably around about 4,000 years. I so is that that green guy? No. He is Manjukis. He is the soul stealer. Oh. <laughs> he is the villain of our story. He is the he awesome is the villain. villain. He yeah. is yeah. Awesome he's, villain. He's a great he's villain. Everybody's favourite. Well. Yeah, everybody loves to hate him. That's fantastic. Now you talked a bit there about digital branding. So tell me about your uh, marketing strategy. Well, being with a, a young adult audience, um, we knew that uh, starting our online campaign, we knew that we had to actually reach that audience. And because we're living in a you know the digital world of iPods and YouTube, and um, you know, kids have so much different um, you know, avenues they can be entertained from and different, uh, different sources. So how do you try and get their attention long enough and entertain them at the same time as well as sort of, um, you know, have them informing them a little bit as far as uh, what the book is about. So what we've done is created a, uh, a website which is going to be more of a, a community website than it is um, sort of like a, a standalone couple of pages info. Yeah. So it's going to be a place where um, readers and followers can actually, fans, hopefully fans, can actually come and uh, talk to each other and grab freebies and grab sort of wallpaper bookmarks and they can actually grab bits of the story elements and... Um, and they can talk to us. Yeah, directly. Direct. Yeah. We're not gonna, we're not gonna sort of like palm this off onto someone else and say, oh, can you answer these emails or whatever. We intend to be there you know, answering the message. Up each one. So yeah. where, where's that? So this That's is at, at um, johnnymarsh.net. johnnymarsh.net. Um, and there you can still find podcasts. Um, we have a podcast that we just released. Now. Yes, our very um, first one. We're really excited about that. Yeah. So um, we've got a great response from that so far. It's, it's we have. Yeah, we it's, have. Just, it's not been too long. It's just boom. It's just taken off. So and, um, oh, I've listened to it three times myself. <laughs> <laughs> the feedback's been fantastic, um, and so the next one comes out next week, and they'll be continuing, um, and we'll um, have a, an episode of the show talking about the book launch and how that went, um, and the preparations and things we did for that book launch, yeah. um, and the types of things we did to uh, entertain people and have them actually enjoy the experience and come in and sort of feel immersed in the world. It, of the it book. was when when they walked through, through the through the we had some special uh, columns built that looked like real wall columns, brick and walls, yeah. yeah. And people walk through that into this green room filled with mist, and they mm. and, and they, they, they got a creepy feel yeah. about it. It was just it was great when people great. walked it in, really and everybody place. everybody just sort of fell into it and became part of it. And that type of feeling that people got from that launch, we wanted to also infuse that into the website too. Yes. So you'll find the website, and you go to the website. There's no mistake; it's definitely Johnny Marsh, and the branding is definitely there. Um, and there's uh, going to be um, also video blogs and things we're going to do as far as interviewing um, people and also doing a reading readers' comments, even perhaps having a reader or two actually come on the show and tell us what they think about the book. There. Fantastic. And um, so, if, have you learned anything? Is there anything you would do differently? Because I, I can see you're having a lot of fun, but what would you do differently next time? Well, I don't know if there's anything we could do differently. I, I mean, we spent 13 years trying to get it published, and that was just the 
the, the hardest thing I think uh, to deal with. Um, is that and, and the, I, I, psychological? I don't think there's much more you can do than, than you keep trying to to uh, approach publishers and, and everything else. You know, how are you supposed to approach them any differently? You, you can't. They're they're the untouchables. You're not even allowed to talk to them. So how are you supposed to 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 market your product to someone you can't even talk to? So how did you get published then? Well, well, we virtually uh, we we contacted a, a publisher who who. Um, you pay to have a, a read of your book and then they give you an assessment of it and then um, then out of that assessment they say look you know we think we could do something with this they're virtually uh, they're smaller publishers than, than the bigger publishing houses um, but Anthony and I saw that as an opportunity um, as, and as a chance to get our foot in the door now we've got it there we're not taking it out okay. no one's taking so it so now you're gonna self-publish the next lot well, we don't know yet. We're going to um, we're going to see what sort of reaction you know we get at the moment. Um, one thing that um, you did ask, one thing could you do differently? And I would say to um, for ourselves and probably everyone or anyone else that's going through this process too, is start earlier. Start as early as you can. When it comes to marketing and yeah. branding and getting online, doing Twitter and starting to get those followers and interacting and trying to make those connections with publishers and editors and other authors. Yeah. Um, get your Facebook page going. Get some photos up there. You know, put just. You got to um, you got to sort of expose yourself um, a bit more than um, than some it's people soon. have actually found well, are actually doing. Well, did mm. we we only started four months before launch, didn't we? And I think you can start that. earlier than that. You I probably think could. The earlier you start, the better, because the, yeah. the longer you have to build your platform by the time your product and your book comes out, then uh, people the already more know. More likely about. you're going to get a bigger response, and it's uh, it's you need to give the legs you can as, as much as you can. Um, and you can do that with the internet and Twitter and Facebook. Um, you can do that freely, um, so easily. It just costs you a bit, a bit of your time. Um, and if you sort of got a day job, sort of um, at the same time you're trying to get your writing career going, it just takes a bit of work. It just takes a matter of you just need to come home, um, do what you need to do, and try and find a few hours. Myself, I try and find you know an extra five or six hours after the working day. I sacrifice a bit of the sleep, mind you. Um, but it's worth it to try and uh, to put the effort in, put the work in, and so far it's paying off. Yeah, it is. So far, mm. it is. Yeah, I have to That's say. It. Fantastic. So just uh, hold the books up again and tell us where to find it again. Well, okay. you can find the book at uh, Buy It Now for 1995 at johnnymarsh.net. Plus, post it to handy. <laughs>